All right. Coming up. Oh, boy. It is Friday. And on yeah. Fridays, we like to go overtime. And we love to get our man, T.V. Todd. Act like a man. You can't handle the truth. It's time for TV time. Todd, 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 Todd. Good day up, to you, Todd. How you doing, brother? Good, buddy. Hey, you, you, know, you changed up the room there? You changed the bookshelf no, location? No, what you're, what you're noticing, VG, is, and I wish I could get a better view of this, this is, ah, uh, it stinks. This is a Lego set of Jaws. There you go. I was going to say. Jaws. Oh, it's the snap. Orca. Look it's at that. Cool, it's, dude. it's got really detailed stuff inside of it, too. Like around the little table where they sit and sing, they got the little <laughs> mugs of alcohol. No. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. That's fabulous. I like that a lot. That's cool. Yeah, my, my daughter put it together. This is, you know, it's funny. It's been rumored for like decades that Lego was going to make a Jaws set, and it just came out on August 6th. Oh, that's great. That's cool, man. I love that. They're very sharp. Very, very sharp. Uh, How you guys doing? Not bad. Bro. I mean, football's around the corner, so like you know, it's a big time. Big. This is it. Then this is where you know you become even more important because, let's face it, Friday night or Saturday night, one of those nights, you got to do date night because all day Sundays, Sunday night, you're out. Your college guy like me too. You're out on Saturday, right? So you got to deal with you got like Friday night and maybe Saturday night unless there's a prime time college football Saturday night in which you're down to Friday night. So we need you to help maintain our relationships with something good to watch over the weekend. <laughs> did you uh, did you submit your two week letter of resignation to Tam? I saw that. That guy was hysterical. That guy. What he did was all, how about her? So the husband gives, gives the two weeks uh, notice. The wife reads the letter. And uh, she was fantastic. She's cracking up as she's reading it. And then she hits him with, sorry, I cannot accept this. We have a staffing issue. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, was, it, man. VG, you've had some strong nugs this week, man. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks, the Python Todd. in the toilet. Python in the toilet. Come on. Well, here's what I was saving for you. You hear about this Chick-fil-A network? Uh, yeah. I've, I've been all in on it for about half a year. Oh, man. You what know, is it? They're starting their own streaming network, Chick-fil-A, with oh, family-friendly content. They got a budget of four hundred grand per half hour of unscripted shows they're doing. Wow. I wonder if these shows are going to entail. They're not so all chicken related, guy, are they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's completely unrelated. So, you know, listen, uh, the whole the world has all gone to branded content because these networks, uh, you know, will, will either license a show or buy a show and they give you notes, they, they put their stamp on it. They have all kinds of restrictions. So content creators are going directly to brands just to get the sponsor or brand integration money. They use it to create their show. So this, you could be watching a show that has nothing to do with Chick-fil-A, but they'll work in a Chick-fil-A product or something mm. in there. So, you know, but uh, the, 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 this new network is headed up by a guy who formerly ran BYU TV that, that I know. And he, when he told me he was leaving to go to work at Chick-fil-A and start a media division, I, I sort of laughed. But the truth is, this is, this is the future. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, it's, it's, it is the future. It's going back. You know what's fascinating is how life is this great circle. And it's going back to serial television, right? Like, year, like when TV first started integrated, they were serials, right? And so you would have these products that presented – the television show. That's right. Remember, uh, what was it? Sunday nights, cause mutual of Omaha presents yeah. wild yeah. kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. It would be the, and like you, I, you know, everybody reads sees the stories and stuff about how these serials were presented by, you know, the big sponsor. And well, it, it's not it only would be one it, singular sponsor. True. And it's not only it's not only going to change how we fund television, 
but it's also going to change where we put television on because Chick-fil-A could do a series. They could chop it up into little, you know, couple minute segments and they could throw it out on TikTok, no, Instagram, no, YouTube. No, no pun intended. Nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> the Chick-fil-A nuggets of, of content. <clears throat> There you go, man. But that's that is that is a big uh, sea change that's coming, especially where we see the behemoth companies that we deal with, like Paramount Warner, writing off nine billion dollars at a time. Uh, it, it's time to look at a new delivery system. Well, I was going to ask you about that with Paramount Plus. Like, what the hell? What what happens? Eh, just a rounding error. <laughs> that's incredible man that's todd is this like will we have to pay like a 3.99 for this chick-fil-a service or is it free to consumers well it's hard I, I don't know they'll probably will make it free because at the end of the day it is just a giant commercial um okay. but they'll probably set up their own fast channel uh they'll probably like i said i think they're gonna go heavy on social media for for throwing out the content sure um but you watch you watch now there's gonna be tons of big companies that are gonna follow suit you'll see hmm. i'm sure you'll see target and walmart and pet smart yeah. and everybody coming out with their own media divisions wow yeah no i can totally see that uh which is great for us because it's just more people that sell content to. Uh, That's right. <laughs> it's right. great. All right. What are we watching, man? What, what's going on? I need something. I feel like I got nothing, dude. Well, you know what? It's a weird It's a weird time, cuz, right? When we get to the end of the summer here, end of August, everybody wants to save their big programming for the fall, for after Labor Day. So, yeah, we are in a bit of a weird time. But I want to follow up. See, I, to show you guys, I do pay attention to what you do during the week. I noticed that the primate theme has come up a few times uh, over oh, the yeah, week. Yeah. Oh, you eating, have I changed the way you eat bananas now? <laughs> that was fascinating. I actually, I'm, I'll admit this. When you were telling that, and because you were weighing in, I was the stem. The I was trying to figure out: Are you saying from the bottom or the yeah. top or where? Yeah. I had to think about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it was yeah. brilliant that the stem is the holder. Like I, I never even thought of that until the, you told me it's we like got the, the primate. Thing, yeah. It's a popsicle. You're right, JP. It's a popsicle stick. <laughs> yep. the, That's geez. right. It's good analogy. The primate, man. We last why the primates rule. <laughs> I'm still peeling it the other way. <laughs> this guy. You yeah. know why? Because you're like the old guy who ref you're like a luddite. You refuse technology or change or anything new and good. You're an old curmudgeon, Raja. You're a fink. A fink. <laughs> <laughs> You mess with the primate, rat, man. Don't mess with the primate. Fink or a fink? Yeah, rat fink. Rat fink. Because a rat is is uh, it's just all instincts. The primate's cerebral. <laughs> right, Todd? Absolutely. I love it. So I'm going to continue with the primate theme for, for, for our segment today. Please okay? do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have two shows I want to talk about. One is starting to blow up right now. It is called Chimp Crazy. <laughs> I like and, the name. <laughs> no, wait, dude, wait till you hear about this series. So it's a four part series uh, that is on HBO and Max. And it is produced by the guys who did Tiger King. So, oh, wow. Nice. All right. I have your attention. I know I have your attention. <laughs> yep. Through your and, people. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. So uh, this series, this series, cause four part series, and it is a documentary about this woman named Tanya Haddix, who was sort of taking care of a whole bunch of chimps, including Hollywood chimps that have been in movies like Babe and oh, MVP out. and celebrity yeah. chimps. <laughs> yeah, but but she's nuts. The chimps aren't cared for properly. PETA comes swinging in. There's all kinds of court battles. Swinging. It's very the, tiger That's an active she, verb. Yeah, yeah. It's a chip verb. It's a, yeah, it's a primate. Yeah, yeah. Come off the vine. Swing it. Oh, wait till you see it, man. It gets into these people that own chimps and the parties that they throw and the fact that the chimp just rips people's noses off from time to time. Dude, crazy. You watch the first episode. You're going to be I'm so in. in. That. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. So in. I'm in on that. Well, they, 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 you know, not, it's not fair what they do to the chimp. They, they, throughout time, they've made the chimp a thief. Like, you go to you know, ancient Baghdad, we're at the market, and the chimp 
like in Indiana Jones, the chip is stealing gold chains. Like, that's not cool. You make the chip. The chip doesn't want to be a thief, but the dude is making the, cheat, the chip steal. Well, listen, you're, you're right in the origin of that, but, like, at the end of the day, you know, I, when my daughter was growing up, we, we loved watching MVP, Most yes. Valuable Primate, right, where the chimp was a hockey player. Yeah, love that. Your bud. What about the road trip TV series, BJ and the Bear? Great. Oh, yeah. He's a, like sidekick, the little chimp. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. That's a great. Uh, that's a great reference. Wasn't but he an orangutan? Really... <laughs> little... Well, wasn't he an orangutan? And BJ and the Bear. No, oh, there he is, dude. oh, oh yeah. a little Jeff hat on in the oh, picture. Cool, whatever. Man. He's cool. <laughs> yeah, you want to hear a great story? So, year like my one. This was years ago. My wife is like. I got to admit, I looked into getting you a chimp oh, for your birthday. That's awesome. No, dude, it's not awesome. Chimps live, they live longer than we do. They're, they come with, she, I said, what do you mean you're getting me a chimp? She's like, yeah, you know, it's like, I forget how much it costs, but you can pick an outfit. It either comes with pajamas or a suit jacket. I'm like, I do not want a chimp. In a suit jacket. <laughs> put in a put a flyer shirt. Does he on. come with like a fila sweatsuit? He's in a suit jacket doing Baldy's expense reports. <laughs> Can you imagine me taking a chimp to work with me, a hearing or something? Oh, it's fabulous. So, Dude, if I had to pitch yeah. you a show and you got a, it's a chimp and a blazer next to you. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's good. Well, well I, I thought show was going to get be... a primate. I, I got it. I'm a size guy. Of so course. I, I want to go gorilla. Yeah. I want to hang out with a gorilla in my backyard. <laughs> Me well, and my this, man. And you, you know what's funny? I was watching. So you watch this, and they show you at the beginning, like the power that these chimps have. Like if they want to destroy, like they yeah, destroy, they destroy you destroy. in two seconds. But listen, that goes back to why we love Planet of the Apes. That's right. I was That's rooting, right. I, I was rooting primates in that in that battle. I mean, was, did you ever crazy. see? Uh, did you ever see uh, Jordan Peele's uh, movie Nope? Yes. No. So you'll know nope. you'll know the theme of the movie is that you're kind of messing with nature to get the perfect shot, but the opening scene is this television chimp goes crazy and just kills everybody on the sitcom set. Yeah. Wow. Get out. Oh, that's awesome. It was wild. Yeah, it's a great movie. It. Great yeah. movie. Well, he's fantastic. But uh this series looks pretty good, man. The first episode's up, the second episode's this weekend. I think the whole Tiger King comparison is great because oh, that's wait cool. till you see these characters. Wait till you see these characters. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. So another chimp, let's tie it in for something else. And this is one I think uh, cause you actually may be able to watch and get into. Maybe it's a good uh, weekend show with Tam. Uh, it's Vince Vaughn's is Vince Vaughn's new show. Uh, it's called Bad Monkey, and oh, it's on. Oh, Flo I saw a thing on the CBS Sunday Morning Show about that. It was adapted from a book. Uh, it's tell the people, tell everybody about it. Sounds good. I'm in on that. Yeah, it is. It, it is adapted from a book. It's a it's a, a Apple series. Yeah, and it's a black it's a black comedy kind of crime drama. Yeah. And Vince Vaughn is the star in it. He plays a, a Miami a police detective who's on suspension. And there's a fishing boat at the very beginning that finds an arm in the water. And it sets off on his whole journey to try to figure out what happened. But, you know, I, I watched the first episode. I really, I like it. I'm going to stick with it. Um, it's kind of cool to see Vince. Like Vince Vaughn is, he's being Vince Vaughn, but not so over the top. And, uh, you know, I think I was looking at the guy. I'm like, you know, I've seen him go through some periods where I didn't think he would, you know, stuff was that great. But the guy, like, looks good. He seems like younger Vince Vaughn. I don't know. I think this I think this show could be really good and fun and light uh, and something that you, you can watch together on the weekend for sure. I'm, I'm in on that. You good. know what's weird about Vince Vaughn is Curb, he wasn't good. Mm -mm. I did and not like him in that. And Curb, your enthusiasm. I'm like, Vince Vaughn, like, Curb, your and I'm like, I, I thought that actually would be a natural. Like, he was abysmal in True Detective. Like, he killed True Detective. The first season was outrageous. Like, it was awesome. And then he comes in, and it was a disaster the second season. Yeah, yeah. that was universally panned that season. And then everybody got back into it after that, but that season yeah. was written off by everybody. So but I think that's – I'm looking forward I think to it. Yeah, I think that's one worth worth watching. So you got yeah. two primate primate like series you can get into this weekend, and then the big uh, I think the big feature release uh, for home viewing this week is Kevin Costner's movie, which uh, 
you know, he did this. So he, Kevin Costner, going back to 1988, started writing this script called Horizon. And basically, it's a, uh, it's it's going to be massively long. The first part is three hours long, and he stars in it. He directs it. That. He wrote it, and it's about these families uh, during the Civil War uh, in mm. in the Old West. It's in the Old West, but it's during the Civil yeah, War. Yeah, he loves the Old years. West. Yeah. Yep. And uh, it's been talked about a lot. You know, a lot of people were shying away from the theater because they thought, oh, man, it's 181 minutes. Like each chapter is 100. You know, like, I love it. But- I love these people. There's no attention span. <laughs> you love something written by Kevin Costner, three hours? You I love Kevin Costner. I don't, Costner, I don't, well, I don't three know. Hours Kevin this story Costner. sounds good. Civil War families. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, watched it's, best, it's, I watched this movie, Best of Youth. It was six hours <laughs> and, and wow, 24 six minutes, hours. something like that. Yeah. Watch Tab Band and I Brothers. went to the movies and went to the Ritz. What do you blow on? Six Snacks hours. and food got to be $180. It was, over, it was an intermission. It was over six hours. Oh, my I hope gosh. there's an intermission in that one. Six yeah. hours. It's outrageous. It's great story. It was like <laughs> this chronicle <laughs> of this family. And by the way, it was in Italian, so it was subtitled. And it was basically this family. That, <laughs> Subtitle six hours. Yeah, no, I am so out of the window. Yeah, because line, you line, got line, no line. taste. You're a Philistine. <laughs> well, that's Jesus. why. Yeah. And cuz, that's why I brought this one up this week for you, because you're always looking for these epic sagas. I mean, yes, this, I love this, epic. this this is going to be four films that are oh you know, like multi hours long yes. over a 12, 12 a family covering these four families over a 12 year span I mean, that show the whole I'm gonna impact watch. Of this the is American Kevin Civil Costner War. we're talking about. This is not so uh, I'm going to watch it. It's not, uh, I don't know, Spielberg at least. All right, look, Mr. Love Island. Yo, hey, by the way, the Love Island reunion oh lived up to the hype on Monday night. It was fantastic, Sky Todd. Love Island. <laughs> Lots of good drama. Love is blind, Love Island, Love is love. <laughs> Hey, I, tried, love listen, love I tried. Listen, I tried. I watched. I tried to watch Love Island based on VG's love. I couldn't. I could not get into it. Of course not. You hate love. Who, you hate romance who and love. Possibly could it. watch that. Hey Todd, I'm I'm going to the movies this weekend. I think I love Jason Schwartzman. You hearing anything about this behind Between Two Temples or whatever that movie is? Yeah, I just saw. I, I think you and I, I like chatted about. It. I saw the trailer before um, kneecap, um, and uh, yeah, it looks good. Again, there's this. I'm feeling VG. Maybe you're feeling it. There's there's old school indie vibes coming back. Yeah, to the totally. Now. I'm I'm going to the movies every weekend. I feel like because there's that kind of movie coming out again. That movie That's, seems that, very character driven, and Jason Schwartzman is always good. He's always the best. good. Yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan. You remember his HBO series Bored to Death? Yes, love yeah, it. It was great. Fantastic. It was great stuff. Fantastic. I love that time. That was my favorite time in film. That like yeah. or 99, 98, 99, 2000, yeah, oh one, oh two. Like it was great, great stuff. Yeah, I do think, you know, like the feature, like we talked about, because I think it is coming back and, uh, you know, catching those indies like that film yeah. in the theater is really, really worth it. So, you know, get get it in now before football starts. I love it. I love it. You and I got a lot to talk about. So uh, I'll call you later. All right, buddy. All right. You're the man. We See love you, Todd. you. Todd, 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 Todd. Todd. <laughs> 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 all silly like the mayor. 